Uh, hello guys, today we will be doing Asylum 5 here, so we're, so for, the, for this and Asylum 6, we're going to be having quarterfinal matches for the Ring King tournament. The Ring King pay-per-view will have the semifinals in the main, the final match for that. So, keep an eye out for that. We're going to, all the people participating in it are mid-card belt holders. With, Lamb and Barbed Wire belt holders will face against each other. The junior and the wild card belt will face against each other. The IC and Euro belt holders will face each other. And then the US and TV title. In really no specific order, really. But yeah, that's what's going to happen. We're, our, op our two openers are quarterfinal matches. The first will be Mankind against Shalabay in a landmine death match. Here. Also, an update, wrestler Rene Dupree has joined the YW, YWA as a member of the Redem Redemption Stable. And yeah, um, this is going to be very important here because, because the winner here will face... The next match will, will be um, Eli the Wolf, who's the YWA Junior Champion, against Sammy Smith, who's the new wildcard champion here as well. very interesting match here. Already bleeding here already. Other matches that are going to be happening tonight. Rene Dupree will make his debut against Alex Consortium. Also, a Star Fox and Magnificent Marvel will face Eli the Wolf and Commander K for the U.S. Tag Belts. LJC will face Magnificent Marvel for the U.S. Title Belt. And Bret Hart will finally face Mike D for the Euro Title. Those could be very interesting, especially um, U.S. and Euro is very important because whoever wins those will get in the tournament. It's weird. It's interesting. Um, it's also an update. Shalabay has Shalabay announced that he was going to start using the mandible claw as his finisher. He dubbed it. He said he dubbed. I believe it's dubbed the Truth Teller, as he calls it. Unless there was a mistake there. That was hard. Porter's notes were kind of a little jolty when he interviewed Shalabay before the match. Got to grab a bat here. Oh, big swing and a miss there. Oh, mandible claw right there on Shalabay. Also, these these tournament matches will not have time limits. They will go as long as they need to to, to, to find a winner. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I believe that was a no nonsense pitch. Did he just tomb <laughs> a tombstone pile driver by mankind? Oh, big jabs there. Goes for a pin. Almost had him there. Oh, 
Oh, splash pin. Ah, a little swing neck breaker. Oh, right in the face of mankind. Oh, back switch. Oh. Taking some swings at mankind here. Oh, counter to a bulldog from that back grapple. Oh, now he... Oh, Shalabay eats a landmine. A little casual DDT right there by Mankind. Ah! Oh, truth! You know, shall we, with his own variation of the claw. Mm. Oh, he puts it on again. Sweep counter there. Oh, a little bang bang right there. Ah, oh, he's trying to trying to choke him out there. Oh, he's decided to go real for him. Oh, missed punch. Back grapple. Little counter. Oh, Shalbase heaving. He is tired. Trying to catch his breath back up. Oh, big slap in the face. Oh, big jumping neck breaker there. Oh, oh mankind needs a landmine. Another one there. Oh, sleeper drop and then a knee to the face. Oh, Shelby grabs a chair. Ooh, missed it. Some machine chops right there. Buster. Ooh. Ah, truth teller. No, oh, it's a rope break though. Tonson. Because of the a couple matches not having time limits, expect this in the next episode of Asylum having a uh, longer up run times than usual. Oh, another landmine for mankind.
a big chop in the face. Clothesline right there. Ooh, a little brain claw. Oh, it's a... Oh, both are exhausted. Oh, no nonsense pitch. Oh, another tombstone right there. Oh, big knee to the face! Throws mankind over the rope, but he avoids a landmine. Oh! Shadow Bay just critical mankind with a truth teller. Truth teller. Wow. What an opener here. Shallow Bait's going to be moving on here. Next year, we're going to go here. So three count, unlimited. All right, next match here. Eli the Wolf versus Sammy Smith here. Also, a quick note, um, Redemption members have had, their outfits have been changed to reflect more individualism. Beastlayer announced that he wanted to show that while the stables united, each one has rich personalities that can stand very tall. There is. Yeah, he's still technically here. All three Demptor members here. Interesting. Alright. No time limit. Yep, everything's all good. The winner here will move on to face Shalabay and the semis. So let's see how this goes here. Eli the Wolf, not only uh, YWA Junior Champion, but also won half the U.S. Tag Champions. We will be defending those belts with Commander K later tonight. Also, Sammy Smith has dubbed his wild card belt, belt uh, the RWO belt for Redemption World Order. figure four leg lock early on. Remember, no time limits. This has to have a victor here, so. Sue 
suplexes there, a little kick counter there. Oh, Sammy gets thrown out of the ring. We got also got word from B Slayer. He had, he said that despite despite Eli and Sammy going against each other, he said that said that like in the past with Redemption being so big, members are bound to face off against each other at some point. And he said that. There's a code of conduct saying that no matter what happens in the ring, it's left in the ring and treated as is. We also got back from Educator. He says that mankind fought a, gave gave his all. He said that he said that he said a he does respect oh machine suplex right there. He says that he respects Shalabay's Shalabay's endless will. And desire to survive. Ooh, under hook, double hook suplex there. But he says that at the end. Mm. He says at the at the end of the day, though. Oh, ooh, a big roll up stomp right there. He says that at, at the end of the day, mankind. He knows mankind is the best hardcore person in that division. Ooh, his finisher right there, going for the pin. What's had him there? Oh, the SS Sleeper. A oh, low super kick there. Goes for a figure four on the outside. Oh, big chair shot! Wow! Oh, roll into an arm bar. But yes, educator, edu educator still claims mankind's the best of that division. He says that, says that the only person that could give a fight like that, ooh, Van Daminator, a fight like that was. Oh, here comes Commander K. Gonna help Eli here. Oh, hits his finisher again. Goes for a pin. Almost had him there. Oh, twist of fate right there. Oh wow, he made Sammy Smith tap out. Eli the Wolf will face Shalabay in the semis. Full Nelson Camel Clutch is what did it. But yeah, Commander K interfering is going to be an interesting thing. We tried to get to talk to them after the match, but the, the Redemption locker room was closed. So we might. So we'll have to see where that goes from there. But yeah, Eli. Moving on there. Next will be the debut of Renee Dupree against Alex Consortium. And this will have a time limit. Foundation stable uh, so-called leader Brian 
made an announcement today. He said that from now on, from now on, like the end goal is is to challenge for is that you know, sorry the reporter apparently sorry I be right their notes are a little gibberish. So apparently, the reporter was beat up backstage by um. By the new legends, LGC Gaming Trucker and Troy, because he asked them why they, why, what is, what is, he asked them what they think about this little point right now with the group, and they just beat the living tar out of him. But yeah. But, um, but they said that, but what? they announced that they intend, they intend on unleashing all out assault on Redemption and, and the new, le in the Legendary Alliance. They said that both the, both these stables are big, are enemies to what is actually, what they consider actual what YWA should have should always should have been. However, they said their priority will be the Legendary Alliance, since unlike Redemption, they the members of that are are a combination of traitors and people who truly don't belong. And they equate the members of Redemption as as local thugs. Thugs, but still local to this to the town of the YWA, nonetheless. No oh, counter there. Oh, trapping the armbar there. in there. California King right there. Got two out of that. Ghost top. Oh, he's laying down the elbow. Gets two out of that. Ooh, counter. Oh, a little quick DDT there. Some punch trading here. Oh, big lariat there. Ooh, goes... Almost had him there. Had him with his finish there. Ooh, float over DDT. Fancy elbow. Almost had him there again. Little headlocks. Oh, California King again. Oh, big forearms in the face there. Suplex him, he's out. Trying to gauge the free here. The free's very new here in the YWA. Oh look, he's taunting him with some dance moves. Oh flashy elbow drop. Oh Death Valley Driver, but Alex is the first one up. Oh here comes DPS! 
DPS coming in to help Renee get his get win in his debut. Oh, big kick right there. Oh, shoulder bear hug right there. Double team suplex there. Oh, missed the sledgehammer on the outside though. DPS. Oh, we got more help. Who's coming down? Green Magic's coming here. We're gonna help Alex out. Oh, airplane spin right there. Holy shit. Alex just made made the pre tap out to the airplane spin. Hijack backbreaker, that's what it was called. Okay, but yeah. Alex won that one due to some inter spite interference there. Bobby the Brain Heenan came out to talk, to represent Redemption. He said that Dupree's disappointed with the loss, but he said that the interference with Green Magic was interference from Green Magic is was uncalled for and shouldn't have happened. The reporter asked about the interference of of DPS, and he said that now it's different because DPS was showing the new guy the ropes. If anything, anything is should. Anything Alex took still took advantage of the situation, but anyway, he said that right now Redemption is in serious talks about what happened with the Sammy Smith Eli the Wolf match, but as much as they're gonna say right now. All right, but yeah, next match here is now we're moving on to title matches. Speaking of Eli the Wolf, him and Commander K are actually gonna defend their belts. Against Star Fox and Magnificent Marvel here. And this will have 20 minute time limit matches. Mr. Tuber did announce that there is a meeting to consider changing changing the time limits of, of tag team matches. There's a consideration to to say that all multi-man all matches that aren't one-on-one -on -one should not have time limits at all. But we will see what what is said. Due to the high amount of ta of um, ties in tag team matches as of late. They said that they'll make their announcement in the next Asylum whether they will do that or if they will wait and see. But yeah, we're going to go to... Um, where is it? Sammy Smith is actually going to be managing for them, helping them out here. to even the odds. Brian is going to be on the sideline here. The former three-point belt champion right there. To kind of even the odds out. So yeah, this is going to be a big match here. Let's see how it goes here. Hmm. 
seems like we're getting reports. Apparently, someone hijacked the music, the music, the <laughs> the entrance music for the tag team here. Uh, Sam. So we're we're gonna have to look into that when we get a chance. The wrong song was played there. Big move there by Eli the Wolf. Some big kicks there. Mounted punches there by Commander K. Yeah. Oh, 3K right there. goes for a pin, only gets one. Painter yeah. K gets tagged in. Oh, ink, ink a lock there. Yeah. Got a sweep Larry up there. Grounded headbutts there. Joke slam there. Oh, Sant Swanton Bomb does another one there. Oh, little arm bar there. Another 3K on Magnus and Marvel. He also has a match tonight against LJC for the U.S. belt. Star Fox gets tagged in. K Commander K gets tagged in. Oh, Frankensteiner right there. Back switch. Oh, counter. Oh, big swap at the corner. Oh, splash on the back of Commander K. Hi. A little snap suplex. Oh, burning hammer. Looks like a full Nelson Camel clutch. Big kick there. Marvel just got there just in time. Trying to stretch out Eli for Star Fox to the handle. But then Marvel gets tagged in. Oh, Rodeo Stretch! Oh, Funhouse DDT right there. Oh, Twist of Fate right there. Eli goes for a pin. Ah, uh, 
tried a corner double team move, but it faltered. Oh, bear hug there. Some punch trading in the corner. Commander K won that one. Ooh, death from above. Oh, Dark Moon. Choke Slam. Oh, backslide pin. Oh, wow. They retain the bell. Slide. So they retain them once again. They're holding strong to those belts. We get word. We got word for backstage. Apparently, Redemption's upset that someone someone was tampering with their music before and after the match. They said that B Slayer said that that's that's unexcusable. They they. <laughs> They should have more respect. They should be given more respect than that, given the success of the stable and how good it's been to the YWA. But yeah, that that's been going on there. Um, next will be LJC versus the Magnificent Marvel for the U.S. Champion. Belt. He has been holding on to that belt for a long time. There's also a lot of heat backstage between LGC Educator B Slayer and B Slayer. Got in a heated argument. DPS also interjected several times as well. So a lot of tension with the leaders of the factions here. Here we go here, this should be interesting. These two used to be best friends when they were a member of the RSG Sportsmen. But when the group broke up, LGT started to get an ego. Marvel was worried about what the worst that could happen. And the worst did happen. LGC's ego overtook him and became the leader of the New Legends. One part of the Legendary Alliance. Right now, Mar Marvel, despite still, still not, still seeing LGC as a friend, admits that in order, admits that he can't let LGC get in the way of what he see, what he says he, after all the hard work he's put into the YWA, he believes that he 
deserves a chance to hold the belt. Oh, we got a boss man slam there. A little knee drop there. Oh, the the bar the marble marble slam right there. Almost had him with two. Rodeo stretch. Big suplex there. Little punch kick trades here. Goes for a trap hit. Almost had him there. Big kicks there. Full Nelson camel clutch right there. Splash pin. Big backhand. Ooh, big. Bulldog there. Was that a face, face crusher? Not sure. I think it's a bulldog. Ooh, the lumber yard! Ooh, schoolboy powerbomb with a sit down. Almost had him there. The crucifix pin only gets one. The DDT right there goes for a submission hold. Well, I see it from the corner. Ooh, her Rana pin off the bounce, and he got him. Megan <laughs> Marvel beats LJC. He is the new U.S. champion. He will. face he will face Beast Slayer in the tournament back on Karana not a long match but he got him after so long with the belt Matt LGC finally loses the belt to one of his former best friends Magnificent Marvel Let's see, let me see if he, let me do his whole name. I won't. I'll just do M. Marvel. Kind of a short match, but still. Got the job done. Next is the big the big one here, the Euro belt. Mike D, the YWA champion right now, is gonna defend his Euro belt against Bret Hart. After Bret it, the title shot was given to him after after Bret Hart kept claiming he was getting screwed over by mostly Stone Cold, but also DPS as well, kinda to a degree. As well, let's see, where is it? Right there. Corey's actually gonna be on a sideline for Mike again. Corey did say that he was, she was very happy that Mike won the big, the big, one of the big belts. She says that, she says that after all that those two have been through with dealing with the edge care, she's glad that, that so far one of them has been able to get the belt. See, so really, for the first time ever, the the new legends, the legendary alliance period, does not have any belts at all. So this is so this is going to be issue. They might be 
pointing out on here. Yeah, Bret Hart here coming to the ring alone. Yep, should be good here. Let's see how this goes here. IWA Heavyweight Champion right there, coming down to defend his Euro title. Now, Mike retains, he'll be the only major belt holder competing in the ring, in the ring king tournament. If he does win, he would just simply face off. He would just simply face off. Uh, the educator for his legend spells. There's the, there, that's the airplane spin there. Oh, going for top rope move. Oh, counter. Oh, sunset flip. Power bomb. Punches. Oh, it's got Bret Hart already bleeding. And he's already going for a sharpshooter. Trading here. Ah, oh. oh, drop kick right there. Big, big punch right there. Mickey setting him up. Ooh, deadlift German, but it's a rope break. Oh, he's taunting him with blood running down his face. Oh, big shot right there. Got the elbow on the back of the head. Oh, over. Over at Suplex there. Oh, counter right there from that grapple. 
Oh, he's going for another sharpshooter. Ooh, big, big move there. That looked like a pop-up X-Factor. Another Russian leg sweep. Goes top rope, waiting for him to stand up. Ooh, flying cross body into a pin. And he got him right there. Mike D retains the Euro belt. He will be in the tournament. He'll be the only major belt holder in the tournament. Bret Hart is bleeding right there, and he may be passed out. And successful title defense for... The GOAT, Mike D. And that does it for this one. Pretty solid show here. Nice to see Magnificent Marvel win the belt after all this time. Let's look here. Let's see here. Some of these guys, a lot of them... Very interested in seeing. Correction. They do have the Legends tag belts. The Legendary Alliance. So I'm glad I saw that. Correction there. But yeah, big thing was the, with the... Beat... With um, Redemption dealing with the Eli, Commander K, and Sammy Smith thing. Especially that music thing. That was... Interesting. That has to be explored there. But yeah, guys, um, Rene Dupre made his debut. And yeah, um, next we'll do uh, Asylum Six. That's gonna be interesting. We're gonna we're gonna see. We're gonna see some belt defenses and whatnot there. as well mr tuber also announced that the, the men the men who lost their quarterfinal matches which would would have been eli and mankind they will have to defend their belts in the next asylum against against an opponent picked uh, against opponents that will be picked by him As well, so we got two of the, two two of the three title matches already in a sneak peek right there, plus the quarterfinal matches as well. For those quarterfinals, Magnificent Marvel will face Beast Slayer, and DPS will face Mike D. So that should be interesting there. And LGC is not going to be in the tournament, so it's going to be interesting to see what those three those three are going to try to do here coming up here but yeah guys uh thanks for watching um, in case you want to chat with me mike or anyone else at the campy company you don't want to use the youtube comment section we do have a couple options the first one is we have a discord channel you can find a link to that in about page and slash about section of our channel we also have a discussion tab in our channel as well you can access that through a pc or laptop computer we also have a patreon page where where we just created it there's nothing really on it right now but there is plans to put stuff on it the really the goal of that of the patreon is to raise money to start doing merchandise because i would love to create some merchandise for the channel especially for making maybe some ywa merchandise as well that would be pretty fun that i look forward to doing but but yeah guys uh thanks for watching please subscribe and like the videos and have a good day